Why does my car smell like rotten eggs? There could be any number of reasons why it smells like rotten eggs. Um, but if you get in it, you turn the key on, and you get this unpleasant, mm, ooh, that smells like rotten eggs. I mean, it's a sign of, that something's wrong with your vehicle, and it needs to be checked out. <clears throat> you know, so what causes the rotten egg smell? Could be a, you know, a bad catalytic converter. Your, your catalytic converter is malfunctioning for one reason or another. The catalytic converter is designed to make sure that your, all of your emissions are burned. So it gets very hot. It gets very, very hot. It's got like a honeycomb inside of it for the most part. And your exhaust goes through it and it's really overheated and it just burns everything up. So, you know, it's it could be it could be causing it could definitely one of of the big causes it could be damaged your catalytic catalytic converter could be damaged or worn out you could have fuel system problems you know if you're using a poor quality fuel bad fuel it contains higher sulfur at levels which can lead to incomplete combustion so your 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 engine literally has it mixes fuel and air and a spark and that's what explodes and that's what pushes your piston down and that's how your car runs that's how the motor actually turns around so is, is the cylinders going up and down and if you're using low quality fuel it can definitely not be working as good as it's supposed to um you know, so you definitely need to use a higher quality um, fuel. You could have, you know, clocked, clogged fuel injectors because you're not flushing the inject injectors the way that you're supposed to. You could have a, a malfunctioning fuel pressure regulator. You're, you've, you've got to regulate the, the fuel pressure going to the fuel injectors. The fuel injectors have got to fire a perfect circle mist. And so raw fuel... You can you can put a match to just raw fuel, a gas gas in a can. You can put a, a match to it; it won't explode. It's actually the fumes coming off of the gas that are the problem. Okay, so the fumes are the gas, not the gas itself. So when what we're doing is we're trying to make gas fumes by spraying that the fuel into a perfect circle mist, mixing it with the air, which is controlled by your your air meter for your for your engine your mass airflow sensor and it goes in and then it's sparked and then it explodes so you know if you're using you know low quality fuel and it's or your fuel injectors are dripping because they're they're partially clogged and you're dripping raw fuel raw fuel is not going to burn as good um you could have faulty oxygen sensors the oxygen sensor itself reads how much unburned fuel you have going into your exhaust. So it, it's, it's be funny. You got to have the right temperature. So you got a temperature sensor. You got to have, you know, the right amount of air. So a mass airflow sensor. You got to have the right amount of emissions that are, are being, you know, burned through that, that's make sure it's working. So you have oxygen sensors. Um, you know, so this is this is a big deal. I mean, and it's becoming a bigger practice that people are, are replacing oxygen sensors on a on a, as a preventative maintenance. Preventative maintenance means by time and mileage before they're bad to make sure that they're keep working at their optimum levels because you know faulty oxygen sensors are, are a huge deal. So you could have an overheating engine. Um, the engine itself could be overheating, so um, that's a big deal. Uh, yeah, that will that will definitely cost a lot, a lot of money if you let it go too bad. You can get uh, blown head gaskets, cracked heads, cracked blocks. You can get all kinds of things. I mean, it could be your water pump is leaking, could be your your coolant system is leaking. Period. Your radiator, your water pump, your your uh, any of your hoses. I mean, there's you've got literally your heater core is inside your dash. Do you want your heater core to be leaking inside of your dash? So you, you definitely need to maintain it, and you need to make sure that the the coolant, the antifreeze, same thing, is getting replaced on a regular basis. Otherwise, mm, all bets are off. So 
you know, if it's overheating, it definitely can be having, you know, burnt odors mixed with, you know, the, the sulfuric components could be all kinds of weird stuff. Your transmission fluid, you know, if you're not replacing your transmission fluid on a regular basis, every 30,000 miles. And yeah, I know that ooh, we can we can get transmission fluid to last 100 grand. Well, then get your oil to last 100 grand. I mean, that makes no sense to me, but. I mean, if you're going to change your oil, you need to change your other fluids. You need to change all of your other stuff. So, you know, flush, flush or, or fluid exchange, whatever you want to call it, your, all of your fluids, flush your injectors, keep up with it like there's no tomorrow. So you could have a, an exhaust system leak. So if you're, if your exhaust system is leaking, um, depending on where it's leaking and how it's leaking, then, you know, it's going to get that sulfide that coming into you. And it can actually coming into your car, you know, the inside the vehicle with you and the car's cabin. So, and if you're smelling it on the inside of the car, it is coming in. Okay, so understand that. Whatever, you know, you're... <laughs> <laughs> whatever's on the outside, if it's getting on the inside, it it ain't good for you, okay? I mean, that's why you want to change the cabin air filter out the way, that, you know, it's pretty often. I mean, you change your your air filter in your house and it's inside. You definitely need to be changing the cabin air filter and the air filter, they're outside. Um, so, you know, it's it's a big, big deal. You know, so don't if you got a, if you got an exhaust leak, that's definitely not that's not something to play with even a little bit. So potential consequences of ignoring the smell, ignoring the rotten egg smell in your car can lead to a host of problems like increased emissions, poor fuel efficiency, costly repairs, health hazards. I mean on and on and on so you know make sure that you're keeping up with your warning lights make sure that you're bringing it in to a, build a relationship with an automotive repair shop bring it into that repair shop trust that repair shop let them inspect your car on a super regular basis i prefer you know at least three times a year if not four if you're going to going to drive you know fifteen thousand miles a year you're getting your oil changed every five thousand you're coming in three times a year that should be okay um you drive more it needs to be more so you know you need to inspect the exhaust you need to monitor your fuel consumption you need to you know keep smelling the fluids i mean if you're start if your fluids are starting to first off you need to know what they smell like good and that way you can you can know what they're smelling like when they're not good so you need to you know get it in get it checked out i mean use good high quality fluid use preventative maintenance whatever you do take care of your car i mean get a plan i mean what is the plan if you're not going to plan to maintain your car then guess what it's probably not going to take care of you so we probably don't want you know pay me now pay me later pay me now pay me later and then, of course, again, seek a, a shop that you can actually trust and has got your best interest at heart. Not something that you want to mess with, mess around with. This is a big deal.